you can see me or not, but it's walking time. It is a few minutes after six in the morning. The sun is barely coming up. I don't know if you can see it back here. See it? The sky's getting a little bit lighter. Uh, Aaron broke my selfie stick, so I gotta get some Gorilla Glue <laughs> to fix it. I haven't been to bed because last night something came over me and I couldn't keep my eyes open. So I ended up taking a nap until a little after eight. But I got my maze and uh, good grief. I don't even know if I've got this thing facing the right way. It's pretty dark, but uh, whew. it's humid. I don't seem to care. I started off doing kettlebells a little bit ago. I picked up one of my kettlebells and thought, I really need to get into this. I've swung the kettlebells probably, I don't know, twice since I've been in the state. And not that enthusiastically, but, you know, somebody on here has been encouraging me a lot. And I've been keeping them updated on my food, sending them pictures of, you know, my salads and whatnot. And they've been giving me ideas of what to do. And all in all, it's been very, very, very fucking helpful. Not even gonna lie. It's something, it's something that I haven't had the other times that I tried to diet. I didn't have the encouragement from anybody, probably because everybody was too scared that I'd snap on them. But um, I am really feeling it this time. It just feels good and the scale's going in my direction. You know, I got a little discouraged the other morning when I got up and the scales weren't reading what I wanted to see. I'd gained weight. Then all of a sudden the next morning they plummeted. And I was like, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? So anyway, I think my body's finally getting there. It's adjusting and the scales are really going in my favor. So I'm super duper duper amped up and inspired. It feels good. I want to spend less time on hangouts. I don't think I'm going to be doing, I don't think I want to do any more nighttime hangouts. I mean, I may, I don't feel like it. I really don't. I haven't wanted to in a long time. Every time I do a nighttime hangout, it's against my better judgment and I do it anyway. But uh, I love the daytime ones, which I'm going to probably start trying to do and spending more time with my family, which is also something I've been doing with uh, Doug and Madison and the boys. I'm discussing the future, discussing relocation uh, for personal family reasons. And uh, you know, it's a big world out there and I wanna see as much of it as I can until I plant myself somewhere that feels right. It has to feel right. I have to get up in the morning and go, this feels right. And, you know, my, I miss my son. You know, he, he's not with me, so I wanna be closer to him. And he's in Canada, so that's probably, no, that's definitely where we're focused. And as long as everything goes smoothly, that's where we'll go. Uh, not sure when, hopefully within a few months. I've heard everything about, um, it costs a lot of money to go from the U.S. to Canada. I already know my son's already been through it all. I know exactly what he went through, so he's going to guide us through the whole thing. He's already done it. But I'm just focusing more on me. There's so much negativity on, you, on YouTube. YouTube is just ate up with it. It's, it's awful. I mean, I, I go on and I start cringing before I even comment or before I ever click the start broadcast. Just, it's gotten to where the last like, I don't know, since Chastity passed away, maybe the week, not even a week, a few days before she passed away, YouTube has made me just feel angry. 
I feel negative and I don't like it. I don't like that. Um, it's kind of the same thing with people that do drugs. I never could understand the druggy aspect of letting go and being out of their mind. I don't like the idea of that at all. I don't like the idea of being out of control. In my mind, I like control a lot. And um, I'm the same way with my emotions. If something triggers me, I, I, I get away from it. I don't like something triggering an emotion or triggering a negativity. And YouTube makes me angry. <laughs> And the shit that I see, people that are my friends, the shit that I see them say, that makes me just kind of go, uh, what the fuck did they just say? <laughs> you know, what? And the delusional world that they see as a reality, not all of them, obviously, but some of them, and it's just like, you know, talking to Doug about it and said, YouTube has its highs and lows, but right now, it's on a major low. I just don't want, I don't want to be a part of it. It's making me mean, it's making me hateful. My score is dead, we already know that. And, you know, the layer of ice over my heart is quite realistic, very legit, it's there. And I don't like it. So, you know, you surround yourself with people that lift you up. You surround yourself with people that make you want to be good to yourself and good to others and be positive about life and see the good in everything, which I've always been that way. Uh, I had bouts of depression coming up where I saw the bad in everything. It was a woe as me, you know, when I was coming up as a kid. And whew, I, like, I like the part of me that sees the positive. It's hard to see in YouTube. You know, some people on YouTube I've met that are, are amazing friends. I don't see them as an aspect of YouTube at all. I see them as my friends that I just happen to have met through the negativity laden atmosphere of YouTube. They are not an extension of YouTube, that's for damn sure. Um, they're more to me than just a sub or someone that I sub to. They're my friends. I don't plan on letting them go for anything. They know who they are. You know who you are. But uh, I'm focusing on positive. And as soon as I put my mind in that position, it started happening. I was more encouraged to eat better. I was more encouraged to get fit and active, even if I couldn't get to the beach. I have a sidewalk and I have tennis shoes and I have two legs that I can walk and that's what I'm doing. I was like, yeah, I've got to stop making excuses and make this happen. So that's what I've been doing. I've been opting for healthier food choices and surprisingly doing well with it, even in the discouragement of the scales. It, it doesn't matter, I'm still doing amazing. And it feels good. I mean, I still eat my random, you know, single bag of chippies or, you know, um, I think, the, well, yeah, this, in the last week I had one bag and that was, um, I think it was Thursday night. Yeah, Thursday night on a hangout. I ate some chips. I regretted it. I didn't kick myself too bad. I just got up the next day and carried on with the positive and said, fuck, I messed up, but let's not do that again. <laughs> of course, I'll do it again. And then I'll pick myself up and I won't do it again <laughs> until I do it again. But it's definitely not the end for me. When I screw up, it just means I'm human. I'm weak. I crave things. That, that is all. It is very humid today. Uh, I really got to get some Gorilla Glue. That boy really fucked up my, my selfie stick. Um, but uh, I'm almost done with my walk. I'm almost there. I'm 
traffic's really light because it's Sunday morning. I do have my mace with me this time. You can't see it, but it's there. Look at the sky. Look how beautiful. I'm really gonna miss Florida. There's just not a whole lot of opportunity here. It seems like there are just far too many pe people scrambling to be big, to be successful beyond just a 40 hour a week job. And that doesn't leave a whole lot of parking spots for me and Doug in the, in the lot of success. <coughs> and I'm sure you can understand what I'm saying. Mm. So, uh, we're gonna just move on. My son's talking about starting a business. And of course, you know, his father and me will play a huge part in that company. Um, he's already very skilled in this work that he's doing. Incredibly skilled. And my youngest daughter, she's starting a business. She's already started. It's, it's her thing. And I told her, I really hope that she has plenty of trial and errors before she succeeds because she learns from them. You learn from the trial and errors. Um, I don't want the first one to succeed, honestly. I want it to be a stepping stone. The lessons we learn are what carry us and make us successful. And if she succeeds first go around, she's not really learning anything. And the lessons are more valuable than the money she'll make. Honestly, in my opinion, some people wouldn't see it that way, but I absolutely do. Anyway, okay, I'm almost there. Uh, sun's coming up. I want to go to the beach right now. I want to get in the car and go, but I can't. But anyway, okay. Thanks for stopping by and going with me on my walk and listening to my shit. Hit the red button below and walk with me some more. And everybody have an amazing, healthy Sunday. Bye.